guys, so today I want to share another story with you. Today I want to talk about Kalani and Asuelu from 90 Day Fiance, the whitewash backlash. Now there are a lot of people upset with Kalani and Asuelu's whitewash comments, but who I would suspect would be the most upset, it would probably be the Samoans. You know, those people her dad hates. But before I get into how they're pissing off the Samoans, let's give a quick recap on what happened on yesterday's episode. I have to be honest with you guys, starting to watch this couple, uh, Kalani and Asuelu, is getting harder and harder and harder. I mean, let's just be real. First of all, they don't live in a house. These people live in some kind of nut farm. And they've taken Asuelu captive just to torture him on a daily basis, okay? I mean, oh my gosh. This you, this is what it is. It's like Kalani is the new Chantel. Remember Chantel would run to her parents and cry about how bad Pedro treated her. He doesn't do this. He doesn't do that. And then when it leads to ultimate hate, because that's what it's going to lead to. I mean, if my sister told me every day, every bad thing that her husband did, it's going to lead to hate. Duh, didn't she watch Chantel and her family beat the hell out of Pedro? You guys remember that? This is what's going to happen in this situation if Kalani doesn't cut it out. So because I saw her family just circling the wagons around poor little Asuelu, I tried my hardest to always be team Asuelu. I did, I did, I did. Even when he put his big ass on that little bike, with the green helmet on his head, trying to learn how to ride a bike, you know, I hung on for dear life. Because, you know, in reality, I'm thinking, what grown-ass man doesn't know how to ride a bike? Because I thought every child got a bike. I mean, even the D students. And I'm not trying to be mean, because remember, up until then, I was still liking him, you know, bike and all. I mean, I was brought down to ride with Asuelu to the end because Kalani's just getting on my damn nerve, acting like a big whiny crybaby, going back to her family. Can you watch Asuelu? He does this wrong, he does that wrong, beating up on Did you see how she act when he pulled the baby out the car seat for crying? Stop! No, you cannot! I thought she was going to make him walk to Utah. And then telling her brother, he acts like a five-year-old, and he doesn't get his act together. I'm not going to marry him. And I was like... Please promise you're not going to marry him. It's like torture. It was like just watching a POW being tortured. And in my eyes, Asuelu was the John McCain in that house in Utah. Until Asuelu made the somewhat immature, insensitive, dumbass comments about his son. Okay, so remember, she sent him and the brother and the baby off so they could set up a Swaylu, in my opinion, but supposed to be bonding time when she says, you know, don't let him out of your sight. Who does that? Oh my God, I really, I'm not feeling um, Kalani. Let's just be honest, okay? When the brother asked a Swaylu what was the best things he liked about his son, he said, <laughs> It was, it was unbelievable. I'm sorry I had to cut you loose, Asuelo. I see why this would anger people. He said, well, number one, he's white. <laughs> and number two, his mother is American. What? Oh, yeah, I gotta let you go. Now, don't forget, this whole time we have been tortured by the father's, his disdain for Samoans. And by the way, did I mention he's Samoan? I mean, do you think he hates his grandma too? Samoans are lazy people. I know my people are lazy. Who talks about their own culture like that? Okay, fine, whatever. But now, people, it's not stopping. The whitewash comments are steady coming, steady coming. And I don't think they said anything positive about their country yet. I mean, no, listen. Asuelu, I understand, even though I have to cut you loose, buddy. You know, I'm going to miss you, but, you know, I have to cut you loose. You're getting just a little too ignorant for my taste. But I will have to let you know a couple things because, you know, you're new to America and you don't understand how this works, okay? Race is a touchy subject here. Touchy. Mm -hmm. Touchy. So I would probably just kind of stay away from the subject. I would definitely distance myself from 
praising white people so much and then downing Samoans. And you might want to say something nice about your people every now and then. I mean, they're not lazy like her dad is saying. He's dumb and they're good looking. Have you ever heard of this guy called The Rock? If you haven't heard about him, look him up. Not lazy at all and cute as can be. And when it comes to your child, well here in America, I don't know what they do in Samoa, so I'm trying to help you out. They say good things about their children. They say things like they're smart and, you know, uh, they're the best. And when they say, what's the best thing about being a father? You say, you know, this is a part of me. This is the future. You know, you say positive things. You know, you don't mention that his skin complexion. That would be like my mom saying, I love my little black baby. <laughs> The last thing I have to inform you, no one's going to say, look at that beautiful white child. Your child's going to look Samoan and he's going to get categorized with the Samoans. And, you know, he's going to look really dumb when he's with his Samoan half saying, you know, I wish I was all back on my white side. <laughs> Now, in the meantime, I'm still loving the show. It's like they hire kooks, pretend like they're not kooks, and as their kookiness comes out, it gets better and better and better. So that's my 90 Day Fiance story for you today. What I want to know in the comments section, do you agree that Asuelu and Kalani are being whitewashed, praising their white side more than they are their Samoan side? Well, I mean... Asuelo doesn't have a white side. He's just nuts. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification button for more stories like these. Until next time, talk to you then. Bye.